Emmanuel, God is with us. Emmanuel, God is with us. I thought I'd go through and pick some of my blackberries. We had extra water this year, and so some of them got huge. You know, I gotta clean them up. I see stuff is moving in because these are like houses more than they are like berries. And you can see the new berries coming in now that I'm watering it and it's not getting all of that um, food there smaller. Oh, wow. So I see this blackberry plant could take some of that rain that they have in the south. It, this is a sport of my own garden. It grew from a seed that a bird left me. So it's not grown any place else but here. Okay. And um, there's my pint of berries. Oh my goodness, there's more berries on here that are ripe. I never take them all, you guys. I always leave some for the grazers. So this one's kind of tiny. You know, my grazers are squirrels, so I'll leave that for the squirrel. And I'll grab that one. I've been leaving some for the squirrel. <clears throat> and we had a cat move in the neighborhood, so I hope the little squirrel is okay. I enjoy them. But cats and squirrels don't mix. Okay. I think I got most of them and I left some. Never take it all, guys. You always, you never know who's gonna pass by and need to glean. Of course, I do have some berries over there too, but you always leave some. My blackberry bush is loaded. <laughs> It looks more like a vine. Blackberries grow really, really long. And I remember my first harvest, which you will see probably in this video. I didn't want to take them all, so I left part. And look how the God rewarded me. <laughs> my mother actually just, my mother has some kind of condition where, you know, as you get older, you don't produce enough digestive. Um, Acid. So she has a hard time with a lot of things, but because I grow my berries myself and even after they get black like that I give them a little bit more time on the bush So that they can get like that. Can you see the difference? I don't know if my camera's picking that up And I see something is eaten. That's that is black and as you can see, there's more. I don't have much space. So this is growing out of a um, one square foot. Yeah, that's all. And then I let it lay down. I'm just trying to take you along and show you how many beautiful blackberries. And that was the one I left. Not knowing that God would reward me from following the scripture with an even more bountiful harvest. I don't even know where all these blackberries come from. So, I had a pint last time. I'm sure to have a pint next time. And this is um, next year's blackberries. So, same with this one right here. Those two have no berries on them because they bear on second year. So... That's when they when they bear. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Um my mother thought I should tell you what I do to my blackberries in case it might help you. These are thornless blackberries. They were a sport of my garden. Probably because I leave some fruit in my garden at all time. The creatures that eat these kinds of fruits 
come to my yard and um, when they're eating, they leave these little gifts of what other people would call weeds, but I'm trying to eat too. So the plant, these are my normal berries. And you see how densely thorn they are. This is probably my golden raspberry. And I share. So one day, I went out to my garden to pick my blackberry. And I had a blackberry here that had thorns. And it had morphed into this black, this thornless blackberry over time. It is unique in that this particular blackberry um, does not lose its leaves in um, the winter time in my zone. All of my other blackberry, raspberry, and brambles le lose their leaves when it gets to be about 30 degrees, 38 degrees, somewhere in there when it hits like a frost. Even though technically I'm not supposed to have a frost, I always do have a frost. Um, it just doesn't last long. It only lasts an hour or two a day for a couple weeks. So um, what do I do to take care of this plant? Well, the first thing I do is it's in my most acidic soil. You see that tree there? It's very acidic. If you don't have that, you might want to put some pine or Christmas tree around your blackberry. So, and this is what my blackberry grows in yeah this year because we had um three additional months of rain i put some of my manure compost which is manure and compost combined i put a top dressing of that on the berries because i thought the soil was getting a little washed out and um also, the other thing that I do a little differently from other people, as you can see, I let my blackberry run. So the whole of the berry bush is getting um, sun. And I found that what the blackberry does then is it will put berries along this whole cane this way. Now, um, I cut this one because it was going into the walkway. And when you cut them, you get additional canes coming out. You can call them sports or whatever like that. And they come out of there. That blackberry is on the same cane. So I'm training, so next year, the blackberry will be more like a tree. See, this is a cane that came off of that bush. So this one is going to be bushier because I keep having to cut it. And um, so I'm hoping that it develops those all along. Looks like it's only developing them on the tip. And um, I give it water once a week when we don't have water. Um, so like right now, since it's fruiting, I give it water once a week. When it is um, finished fruiting, and that usually goes through June, um, we get to the summer, I will continue with once a week water, deep, deep watering. Um, if you have rain in your area, there's no need for you to do that. I have no summer rain. I am in Southern California. So I give it rain once a week. And that is because about once a week, the leaves will start to wilt. Once it bears fruit, um, I will let it get stressed out. I don't try to stop it from being stressed out. Um, and I use the blackberry leaves for tea. So as soon as summer is over, I will pluck my leaves and um, dry them to have as a winter remedy for colds and flus. And um, guys, that's it. I think the secret is making sure you don't give it too much sun. Blackberries are bramble. I grow blackberries in partial shade and I grow them in the sun. This spot is sunny. It gets afternoon shade in the um, summertime and also in the spring. But in the winter time, this is a shady spot. So when the plant needs to rest, 
since it doesn't drop its leaves, it gets a rest because it gets less sun in the winter time. Um, it's disease free if any pests get on it. Um, occasionally we get spiders and that's about it. Um, I will come out and remove spiders when I'm harvesting. Obviously because I don't want to be bit by them. But other than that, you want to let your blackberries be as wild as possible. You want to let them have the life of a blackberry. Don't try to make them into a um, city plant. Don't try to make them organized. You do want to give them their own personal spot. This one doesn't get a lot of suckers, okay? Now, my wild blackberries will get like two or 300 suckers a year, and I'm always having to weed out the old suckers. This one, as you can see, it got two suckers, and it has a fruiting cane. And this is the um, third year for this one. And it fruits only every other year. I cut off the tip on that one, so definitely won't get any tip. I'm not going to cut off the tip on that blackberry to see if that blackberry will provide tip fruit this year because I forgot and cut it off the other one because I want it to be a bushy plant and give me lots and lots of blackberries. Um, so I think that's everything, guys. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the harvest and I hope you find this information helpful to you for growing your own delicious blackberries. These blackberries. Oh, one more thing I should tell you, since you stayed this long. These blackberries taste as good as wild blackberries. They take, my mother is from Texas and they, she used to pick wild blackberries when she was a child. And she said, these taste just like the wild blackberries of her childhood. And they are obviously not wild. Well, they are wild, they grew wild, but they grew thornless and um they don't they don't spread that fast so it'd be hard for them to compete in the wild if they were near um other blackberries so they are growing in my raspberry patch so there they don't have to compete so much at, but i mean as you can see the raspberries grow pretty thickly and the raspberries do sport a lot but since this um, blackberry grows slowly um, it likes to grow deeply and it likes its soil to be a little on the acidic side. Jesus loves you and I love you with all the Jesus in me. Be blessed, beautiful.